Hey guys, it's Victor G here. Today I'm going to show you how to access the Lexus Navigation System Service and Diagnostic Mode. There are several ways to enter the Diagnostic Mode on the Lexus. Uh, today I'm working on a 2010 RX 450H and I will be able to dem demonstrate two of those methods to you. Uh, it will work on most Lexus vehicles. Some of the new, new models are done a little bit different and I can make a video of that in the future. We will start by turning ignition on. You can also start the vehicle. I'm in the garage, I don't wanna run it. And wait for the uh, navigation system to boot up and for the map to display. Okay, so now that the map is displaying, you wanna press the display button right here on the side of the controller. Okay, and now that that's on, we will use the remote touch controller and we will click in this area and this area several times. Uh, I have an enter button on the side here. Some of them don't, so you can just press on the actual button on the remote touch controller. I'll show you what we're gonna do. There you go. So now we're in a service menu where we can um, do the various diagnostic functions on the vehicle. Now to exit this uh, diagnostic mode, you just turn the ignition off. Here's the other way you can do it. Turn the ignition on and uh, wait for the navigation system to boot up. In this case, we're gonna be using the menu button right here and the headlight switch. Let's wait for it to turn on. Okay, so press and hold the menu button and then you're gonna cycle the headlight switch on and off multiple times. Press and hold menu, lights on and off several times. And there you go. So now we're in that same uh, service menu diagnostic mode again. Now we can go into the failure diagnosis screen and it will check, uh, it has options to check the hard disk drive and the overall system check. So let's do the system check and see what's going on. So everything right now is okay. We don't have any issues. Uh, everything is working properly. If you did have any fault codes, you could click on one of these boxes uh, for the amplifier, audio, remote touch, uh, etc. And then uh, it would display the fault codes that are present there at the time. Uh, once you do the repair, you can uh, do a memory clear uh, that will clear the codes in the navigation and the subsystems. And then you can do a recheck afterwards and see if, uh, if everything's been repaired correctly. Now we can go back and then there's also a function to check the hard drive. Uh, this will take, uh, you know, maybe about 30 seconds uh, and it's gonna check the hard drive for integrity and uh, will let us know if everything's okay. So let's just wait for a bit and uh, see what happens. All right, looks like our hard drive is okay. So now we can uh, exit the diagnostic mode by uh, turning the power to the vehicle off. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.